Hey Wildcats, welcome back to another week of amazing stories that we have for you. Make sure to stay tuned because we have a lot. For our last story, we're here with Brianna and she's going to tell us about what she's going to get to do for the summer. So could you go into depth on what you're going to do? So in like October, I got an email from Miss Penny for like a NASA online scholarship program and I clicked on it because I was like, what the heck, why not just try it? And I got I signed up for it and I ended up getting in and so the first step was like it's online like a per like an assignment kind of like online and then you had to like fill out each module and each module went through each month so I f started in like October and then finished in February and once I finished in February I made like a 91 on the whole course and that was a good enough grade to get into like the ver it was going to be an in-person experience at NASA in Houston, but it ended up changing and being virtual. So now I have to go a week online. I have to start like eight o'clock in the morning to six o'clock at night online. And we'll have these meetings with all these other kids that we're able to get in. And so we're just gonna go through that way. And it's gonna be like a whole program. And once I'm done with the virtual thing, then after that, I don't know what's gonna happen, really. That is really cool. Um, what is your favorite part, would you say, um, of this whole process? My favorite part so far was that like I was able to interact with the other kids in the program that were able to get in and a lot of them seem really nice and just like the community around and everybody's so helpful if you have a question they will answer your question and they're very good about that. So what were the courses particularly about? So each module was split up into four sections. One was math, mathematics, one was science, one was engineering and then I forgot what the last one was, but there was four sections, and then each section you had a quiz, you had an assignment they had to do, and then there was resources for it. And so you had to look at the resources and then take the quiz from the resources, and then the assignment kind of like wrapped everything together and was like hands-on. You had to like, one of the assignments I had to make like a model of like something, like a cup with a marble going down, and then you had to make sure like the marble dumped and went right on to the target. And other ones was like it was just an assignment where you had to like do math problems on how like to get a spaceship to Mars. So for this summer, do you have any idea what um, you're gonna be training in or? So as far as I know, like right now, like the day is scheduled like from eight to six, it has meetings and everything. And during that whole week that I have, I will be like doing a mission to Mars. Like I have to plan out the mission, like from the schematics of like the spaceship to how to get the spaceship to Mars without blowing up and crashing. Well, thank you for your time. And um, we wish you very much good luck, and that'll be it, Wildcats. Hey, Wildcats, it's Marcus. I'm here with Macy, and she's going to be talking to us a little bit about prom. So I heard there's some updates. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, prom tickets ha are, have gone on sale. They're $60 each. Um, prom runs for from about 8 o'clock to midnight. Um, let's see. If you're bringing a lower classman, if an upperclassman is bringing a lower classman to prom, you have to escort them through the door. There will be a red carpet laid out so that you can walk up on and people will take pictures. Um, if you want the valet option, coaches will be parking cars at the Wildflower, which is where it's at. If you're bringing an outside visitor, like your prom dates from another school, the forms are in the office that you can fill out and bring up to the office so that they can check it. Um, they'll announce senior superlatives, king and queen. If you're going to be king or queen, you have to be there when they announce it, which is around 11 o'clock. And I think that's about it. They'll have. Most unique arrival, senior superlatives, king and queen, those are the awards that will be handed out. But yeah. So, do we have a theme this year? Um, we really don't have a set theme this year. It's just going to be pretty. The wildflower is very beautiful itself. So, we're just going to set out nice decorations in the center of the table and we'll have a nice backdrop for pictures. That's what we're doing for the theme. Well, thank you for updating us on prom. On to the next one, guys.
Hey Wildcats, it's Alexis and today I am here with Miss Maya and we are going to be talking a little bit about the blood drive. So could you tell us about, a little bit about the history of the blood drive with the school? So usually it is held in the gym, but today from 8 to 2 we're having the blood drive in a bus in front of the junior high. And usually the seniors who donate twice in a year will be able to get their red cord. So seniors, this is your last chance if you want your red cord. So to go out there, I know there are a few spots left today. I think from uh, it's at one o'clock there are a few spots left. So mm -hmm. last chance. Um, and if you were wanting one of these spots, how could you go about signing up? There was an email I believe that was sent out. You can sign up for spots. And as I said, I think there are only a few more left. So it should be in your school email if you want to sign up for that. Alrighty, and for those who are watching for future or for even now, um, what is the age limit and what are those, because I know it's a little different. So you have to be, if you're 16 or under, you have to get your parents approval to donate blood and I believe you have to be over 110 pounds to donate blood. And that's it. Right. And everybody else just can sign up like oh, normal? Yeah. You can just sign up like normal. If you're over 16, you're over 110 pounds and you're iron, all your stuff is good and healthy, then you'll be able to donate. Alrighty, thank you, Ms. Maya, for telling us about the blood drive today, and we'll see you next time, guys. So hi, Wildcats. Today I'm here with Maddie, and she plays softball. Amazing, right? Um, so when is your next game? Um, we play today in Edgewood at 6, and then Friday we play here for senior night at 6. So what do you think about the game? Like, do you think you're going to win? Do you think it's going to be a, kind of like a challenge? And who are you going against? Oh, we're going against Edgewood. I think it'll be a pretty good win as long as we, like, stick as a team and play how we know how to play and hit and everything. But other than that, we should be fine and it'll be just be good. Okay. So I know that you play Edgewood, right? Mm-hmm. We played them at home, and I'm pretty sure we run-rolled them. Um, the only thing that we had trouble was probably, like, waiting on their pitcher because his pitcher was kind of slow, so we had to, like, get you adjusted to that and just, but it was good from when we got able to be able to hit her and stuff. Okay. What position do you play? Um, I play center field. It's basically, like, I have priority over, like, the whole outfield and anyone in the infield, so basically I have a lot of, like, I guess, like, I don't know, like, ruling over the whole field besides, like, the catcher. And I don't know, you just, I feel like you just got to be kind of fast and like be able to read the ball well to play mm -hmm. there. Wow, so that's amazing. Thank you so much for being here, Maddie. On to the next story, Wildcats. All right, Wildcats, for our next interview, we're here with Daniel, who is a member of the Reigns High School fishing team. So I heard that something happened and you guys are going to state. Yeah, so uh, we got first in the last tournament overall out of all the teams, and quite a few of our teams are going to state this year, so that's good. That is pretty cool. So can you give us specifics on, like, how much the fish weighed, how many you guys caught? Yeah, so um, last tournament, Reigns weighed in 48 pounds and 2 ounces. We caught one fish that was 4, let's see, I think 4 pounds and 69 ounces, I think. <laughs> and then... Uh, yeah, we had quite a few teams catch a lot of fish, so. So how is it for you personally? Like, did you catch the most swing? If not, who did, you know? Um, I, f I can't believe, I can't remember who the big bass was for the tournament, but I thought it was a pretty good tournament for our team in specific. Probably one of our best ones. So if anyone wanted to get into fishing, like I haven't been fishing in years and years, and someone was like almost just starting out, would you give any tips for them? Uh, I would say just, Go buy a cheap rod and reel and just go fishing. See how you like it. All right, Wildcats, that'll be it for this interview. Thank you so much, Daniel, for doing this with us, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Hello, Wildcats. My name is Preston. Today I'm being joined by Hayden. And today we'll be talking about uh, baseball. So I heard you have a game today on April 19th. Yeah, we play Edgewood today. Uh, right now, us and Edgewood, we're tied for first. We both got a 7-1 and record, and... Uh, these next two games are going to see who's on top. So have you ever played against Edgewood before? Yeah, we play, we play Edgewood in every sport. We're rivals with them and everything. And it's a different atmosphere playing them. You know, Both towns show up to watch us play. And it's definitely going to be a good game. So are you scared at all about this game? Or? Uh, no, I'm not nervous at all about it. And just hope that our whole team, like we stay calm and play how we know how to play. 
So um, what, what positions do you play? I'll play middle infield or right field, whatever coach wants me to do. Hmm. All right, well, thank you for joining us today, and I wish you luck, and good one. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you, Wildcats, for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and be tuned for the next one.